What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, um, again, man, just day in the life, day in the life. I'm just uh, simply getting ready to set up a new page and um, email it to a handful of people on, on a list. Um, and the whole, there's, there's really, yeah, I guess there's two objectives to it. Three objectives, maybe three, three. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of film this real, real quick and, and kind of show you my, my thought process and my, my basic strategy. Um, really the three objectives would be number one to Facebook pixel them, right? People that are landing on specific pages within my funnel, um, anywhere on my webpage, whatever people that are landing, that is data, right? So number one objective, Facebook pixel capture that data, um, to retarget in the future. Right. And then, um, objective number two would be to get them to watch a YouTube video. Okay. And then objective number three would be to get them to schedule an appointment. Okay. So, I'm going to simply walk you through um, how I do that. And what I'll do is I'll simply in, in this um, um, category, cause I'm over here in my pages. And, and if you're new to my channel, man, all I do is I, I drop daily content on social media, marketing, Facebook, advertising, um, landing pages, email automation, sales funnels, and, and things of that nature. So if you're in the, into that kind of stuff, man, subscribe. Uh, smash the bell for notifications and, and drop me a comment. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys are working on and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. But for everything, for all the above, for everything I just mentioned, I use one single software and that's Kartra. So down below, I provided a 14 day trial. Um, I always give my time for free. We can always um, set up strategy calls. I can walk you through it. I can teach you. I can, I can show you how to get off to a fast start. All you got to do is set up a 14 day trial and, um, and hit me up. But I use Kartra for everything, man, for my digital products, to sell my digital products. I use it for my email automation. I use it for all my pages, my landing pages, my sales funnels. Um, I use it for my calendar. And I also use it to package up funnels and give them to people or sell them to people. And I also use it for my, my affiliate marketing. So that's what, what the whole you know, promotion is around, is getting people onto the 14-day trial um, so I can make that reoccurring affiliate commission. Um, and Kartra is pretty much my only affiliate um, product that I, that I offer and that I share with people. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just walk you through, man, walk you through how I set it all up from scratch. Um, so this might be a longer than normal video. Actually, shit, I take that back. All my damn videos are long. I tend to talk a lot, but at the same time, man, hopefully I bring you value. So if, if, if you get anything out of this damn video, click like, give me a thumbs up, dude. That's all I ask. If you see any freaking value whatsoever, man, give me a, give me a like. If, you, if you're too afraid to freaking comment below, freaking hit the damn thumbs up. That's all I'm asking from you guys. All right. So um, let's get on with it. I'm going to show you how I do it from, from the beginning. And, and again, um, the entire process. So here's what I do. Um, as I come into my pages, normally you'll see all categories. It will just kind of bring, bring you to all categories and you'll see pages for, for everything, right? For all of your different funnels, for all your different projects, you see everything in here. Okay. But what you can do is obviously put everything into categories. So this specific email that I'm going to be sending is regarding a YouTube video that I just released. So um, over here on my channel, this YouTube video just went live. I drop videos every day at 8 a.m. Okay, so um, depending on when you're getting this video, I'm on a blitz right now, and I've been blitzing for almost a year, um, a video every day, a video every day, right? But this video right here just released two hours ago. You can see it two hours ago. And all I want to do is get some more traffic to it. That's all. So I'm going to email a specific list and, and, and get some more views on it. Okay. So it's going to be this video right here. And let me just go ahead and let me go to that actual video over here. Let me pull it up over here. Cause what I need is I need the actual link. So again, what I'm going to show you how to do here is, is how I, how I leverage email automation, how I set up a broadcast, how I send a one-off email to a specific list. Um, and again, the whole objective is to get, is to get, is to get the Facebook pixel going is to get the, um, the, uh, video viewed and to also see if I can even get people to schedule an appointment because I'm also building an agency, right? I've been building a social media agency since 2016, just servicing clients with social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So, 
again, this is the video right here that I want to get some more links or some more views to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to drop this video on a page. Some people will simply email you. And when you click on the link, it'll take you straight to YouTube. But again, if you've caught any of my previous videos, I don't take you straight to YouTube. I take you to my YouTube video, but that YouTube video is gonna be on an actual page. And again, the reason why it's gonna be on a page is so I can Facebook pixel you, so I can keep your attention on that one video, and so I can have a call to action. My call to action happens to be to get people to schedule an appointment with me, right? So. Your call to action could be, you know, to get people to buy something, to get people to freaking your Facebook group, whatever. It could be so many damn things that, that you can, you know, get people's attention on and get them to, you know, do a specific, you know, uh, task. So again, in my case, it's appointments. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm in my pages, right? What I do is I hover over my communications. I right click and I open link in new tab because that's where we're going to spend some time as well. I'm going to show you how I set up this entire broadcast. So um, this is where it's going to start. It's going to be going to a handful of people on this list right here. So all I'm going to do, okay, so when it comes to the broadcast emails, let me kind of just also mention this. When it comes to broadcast emails, again, whenever when anyone like co goes to a page, for example, right, if anyone goes to a landing page and they opt in, right? Like here's one of my, one of my pages, fbadsforbeginners.com. Uh, this is the link you'll also see in the description where I just show people the basics of Facebook ads, how to navigate the ads manager, how to set up custom audiences and custom conversions. The most important few steps uh, prior to running an actual ad. That's what this basic training is all, all about. But as people come to any landing page and they opt in, right? They opt in, they land on a list, right? It's up to you to tie that list and connect it to a sequence, okay? The sequence would be the handful of emails that go out automatically. That's your email autoresponder, right? Your, your drip system, your email automation, right? Um, whatever, whatever the hell you want to call it. But that right there is your automation. Though I can set up five emails. I can set up 10 emails. I can set up 25 emails that are all preset, ready to go out every other day, ready to go out every two days, ready to go out every three days, whatever. I can set it for whatever, right? That's the sequence. But depending on, actually, it doesn't even depend on, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if a person is in a sequence. So Brittany, for example, she could be in a sequence, right? But she's not. Over here, it'll tell you what sequences are in. So if I'm looking at leads and I'm just looking at all my leads and all of the, on, on all these different lists, it'll show me over here what list they're on. It'll show me if they're in a sequence, right? It'll show me if they're tagged. That's when I'm looking at the leads just all out, you know, every lead. But then again, that person fills out a specific opt-in form. They go to a specific page. They're on a specific list, okay? And again, that list, if I want, I would tie it to a sequence and set up a handful of, of emails. Now, if they're in a sequence, okay, that's great. If they're not in a sequence, that's fine too. I can come in here whenever I want and send a broadcast, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to send a broadcast out to a specific list just to draw more attention to the video that I just released. Okay. So here's how I'm going to do it. First of all, I got to set up the page. I got to, I got to set up the page, right? And all I do is I make sure that that one page. So for example, in this one category, FB ads for beginners in this one category, I have a handful of pages, right? But it's only this one up here, broadcast, broadcast this the, these two for example are are specific pages that have gone out in a broadcast they're not part of a sequence they're not um they're not just random they're 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 specific pages that i have sent out in a broadcast okay so here's what i'm going to do because the page is already set up it's already basic right like let's take a look at it let's um let's go into the edit 
and let's just look at it real quick because if I need to make a little change, I'll, I may make a change. And then, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it, which I'll show you how to do, which makes everything easier and, and much, 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 much quicker. Um, but let me look at the page really, really quick. And again, you guys, I'm taking you deep in, man. I'm taking you step by step. So this ain't no hype type of video where you're in and out in three minutes. Like this shit right here takes time, dude. You got to freaking master the back end. Um, and this is advice I tell, I tell clients every single day. It's like, dude, running a Facebook ad, anybody could actually, not anybody can do that. It's not, it's not where you, most people think they can just do that. Most people think they can just go in, freaking click the damn turn on and they run an ad. It's like, dude, unless you're setting up everything properly in the ads manager, which is a whole nother video, that's not the way you do it. But then also I always tell people all the time, like, let's look, let's just go to Facebook really quick. I tell people all the time, clients, just, you know, random um, consultations that I do daily with everyone, um, with business owners, right? I tell people all the time, knowing the Facebook ad side is one thing, but as I scroll through my newsfeed, right? Let's look at a random ad. Here goes a random ad right here. Founder, Founder Magazine. The million dollar question is when I click on learn more, where are you taking me? That's the million dollar question. That's the million dollar question. So let's say you do have your ads knowledge down, your Facebook ads, your Instagram ads, your YouTube ads, whatever the hell you're running. Let's say you do have that part mastered somewhat. Okay, well then when I click on learn more, where are you taking me? That's the million dollar question, okay? And so this back end, Kartra, again, I use this for everything, my email automation, my sales funnels, my landing pages, everything, my online calendar. Um, the million dollar question is, where are you taking me? You have to be taking me to a page, right? You have to be taking me to a page where I can, I can opt in and then come into your world, right? So in this case, these are people who are already in my world. They're already on my list. They've already opted in, right? Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just continue to drip on them. I'm going to continue to nurture them. If they're not in a sequence and they're not getting automated emails, they're going to just get broadcast emails every now and then, right? That's what I do a lot as well. So if I don't have you in a sequence or even if I have you on a sequence and I just drop a new video, it's like, dude, okay, let's get some more people to view it. That's a broadcast email, one-off email, right? So, so in here, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. This is okay. This is perfect. This is exactly all I need. So, so, and here, here's another, here's another thing that I have as well. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this page right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to exit it. I'm going to use this page. I don't need to change much. I'll change it when I, when I, when I get to the next step, but everything is in here already, already. Right. But he, the way I have my page set up is when, when, when that person receives the email, which I'm going to show you how I set up the email right now. When that person reads that email and clicks and comes out to this page to watch this video, this video, first of all, is a long form video. It's a, it's a freaking hour and 15 minutes. It's a long form detailed tutorial of the ads manager. I'm actually just giving, I'm just reviewing it for a client and, and going over what a previous um, agency did for her and, and how much they, you know, freaking didn't do. So that's a cool video right there. But, but here's my point. Down here, when I send them the email and they click and they come to this page, I don't have this bottom part open up until minutes in, like 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in, maybe, maybe, maybe 60 minutes in, then this bottom part will open up. Okay. So the way I, I set it up, it's, it's a simple delay. So right here, I'll click on the red, I'll click on edit, and then I'll come over here to delay. Each part of a page is somewhat of a block right? It's a section, right? It's not like it's one full page. Each one is a section. This is right here, the red. This is the section for the video slot. Down here, this is the red. This is the section for this paragraph and for the button. Down here, this is the section for the social media icons and the freaking copywriting and my links down here. So that there's three sections, three blocks to, to this specific page. And you can add as many as you want, but um, in this case, it's these, it's these bottom three, right? Actually, it's bottom two. This one and this one, right? It's two. It's two. So what I have set up or how I set it up, I should say, is 
again, when they click, they come to this email or they come to this page, they watch the video. I have it delayed for 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. So 10 minutes in, all they're going to see is this top part of the page. Okay. And I'll show you on the next one as we get to the next one, but because all their attention, I don't want them reading anything. I don't want them clicking and going to my calendar right now when they've only watched 30 seconds of the damn video and the video happens to be a freaking hour, right? I want them to watch the video. I want to indoctrinate, indoctrinate them. I want them to get value. I want them to fall in love. I want them to be like, damn, this guy knows what the hell he's talking about. I want them to really feel it, right? I want some emotions to be there. Um, and then boom, right when they're like, damn, holy crap, this guy's teaching me some shit. Then the bottom part opens up and there, and, and then boom, I'm asking for the appointment or, or whatever the call to action may be. Right. But it's not in the very beginning. It's not I, like for another, another example. I don't want them kind of the page coming to the page and 10 seconds into watching the video, they're clicking on my freaking IG and they're now all of a sudden looking at some chicks on Instagram, like, like, and it's only been 30 seconds of the damn video playing. Right. So you want to delay all this stuff, delay all of it. But again, why am I taking them to a page and not straight to YouTube? Because again, when they get my email and they click and they come straight to YouTube, before you know it, they're watching freaking Patrick Bet David. Before you know it, they're freaking watching freaking Damon Dash. It's like, dude, no, I don't want to take you straight to YouTube because God knows your attention span sucks and you'll be on another video in no time. And I can't Facebook pixel you. And I can't have that call to action. Now I can have call to actions in the description, but that's not really a call to action. Like I want the call to action. I want you to see it right in front of your face. Like I want that one button to be right there in front of your face, right? So that's why I'm taking them to a page. And so in here, um, let me just, I wanted to make sure that everything is set up good right there. So it is. So let's get out of here real quick. And there's a three step, there's a three step exit on a Kartra page. Step one, save progress okay step two publish live and this is only if you made changes to the page which i didn't do anything to the page so i technically i don't even have to do that i don't have to three step it out but i'm just showing you to to teach you guys and then return a dashboard that's the third step okay so here's what i do now 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 these pages again there's many different pages in that category right um but these ones, these two specifically are for broadcast or I can set it up in my sequence. It doesn't matter. But in this case, it's a broadcast. So all I do is I, I make one page, you know, how I want it. And then I'll come in here, hit the three dots and I'll simply clone it. That's it, you guys. And I'll call it broadcast because that's what it is as well. Um, and this one right here is, uh, is FB ads manager or FB or I'll, I'll name it what I, what I named the video, which is reviewing a client's FB account. FB ads. Okay. And then boom, clone. So now I take that entire page, the Facebook pixel, the freaking button, the social media icons, everything, dude, everything comes over. I duplicate the page, which saves me a ton of time. And so this is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply, um, okay, so here it is here. Let me open it back up through the other browser. I don't know why it opened up in a separate one over here, but let's do this again. I'll just simply um, exit. So I didn't do anything to the page, right? I didn't, I didn't change anything yet. I didn't, um, 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 yeah, I didn't edit anything. So I can just simply come in here and all I'm going to do, I did change the name of it. I did change the name of the, of the, of the, of the page. Right. But that's about it. So I'm going to come in here, just return a dashboard exit. And then boom, it'll bring me back, which I want to close out of that one and get back to the other one. Okay. So now let's open a new tab. Okay, cool. So that page should be there. Let's, um, Okay. This one right here, perfect. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna decorate it. I'm gonna deck it out real quick, um, real real quick, and 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 then I'm gonna send out this link in a broadcast. Okay, so this is how we're gonna get how how we're gonna get it going. Let's um, load this.
Got to get lit off that coffee, man. Got to get lit off that coffee. Better than doing drugs, right? Shit. Um, so as I come into the new page, and here's another thing I do, man, but, but I don't, in this case, I'm, I'm, I'm cloning it. I'm, I'm duplicating the page. So, so I, I, I tend to keep a lot of it the same, but then I'll, I'll change, I'm going to change out the verbiage for sure down here for sure. But what I normally do when I come into a new page, I'll hit settings. I'll change the SEO parameters. This right here is the title of the page. So not, well, it's the title of the page, but it's also the title of the tab. So up here you see Kartra. Kartra, reviewing a client's Facebook page, FBS for beginner. This is the title of the tab. So that's where I change it. I change it right here. So this one's going to be FB ads review. And I'll just simply name it that. And then I'll hit apply. And then if people share it on social media, this is the image that shows. I can choose any image, but that's the image that would show on Facebook as people um, if, if anybody were to share it, share the link on, on social media. So I make sure I always hit apply and then I'll change out that. And then again, because I cloned it, my pixel is on the page. So it's already there. I don't need to add it again. It's already there. I simply cloned it. I hit apply and everything is good. So here's what I'm going to put. I'm going to change reviewing, reviewing a client's FB ads account okay reviewing a client's f facebook i'll just let's see can i spell the whole thing okay perfect so reviewing a client's facebook ads account okay so now here's what i'm gonna do now so here's the actual video this is the whole purpose of this freaking broadcast and this freaking video that i'm making for you guys is to draw attention to this video that i just released so all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, I'm going to share the, I'm going to get the code, which is what I just did, the, the share code or, or the share thing or whatever on YouTube. And then I bring it over here and I paste it and I want it to autoplay. So I'm going to do that. Boom. And hit and hit uh, apply. Now I could easily take that video, upload it to Kartra and have that video sit on Kartra. So if you're not building a YouTube channel, then you can do that for sure. You can upload video uh, to Kartra and then, and then, and then, you know, put it on a page Wistia, Vimeo. But again, I'm building a YouTube channel, so I'm trying to get as many you know, views to a video as possible on YouTube. So, so I tend to use the YouTube video. Okay, so there's that new video. That new video is on the page now. So now we're good. This is the video right here, FBI ads, for, uh, FBI ads review, Facebook ad review. And then, and then right here, my passion is in teaching the beginner how to grow and scale their business. Uh, Okay, perfect. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to leave that, man. I'm going to leave that because it, it's the same thing. Click here to schedule a call and I'll, and I'll click here to schedule a call. And so if I want to change that text, click here to schedule a call and I'll help you with your ads too. Okay, so that's super long, but it's all good, man. It's all freaking good. Click here to schedule a call and I'll help you with your ads too. Boom. Okay, and you know what? What I can also do is I, that there's that calendar icon, right? But here's what I'm going to do for the hell of it. I'm going to go to icon and I'm going to simply put in the Facebook one. So let's do, we could do the square. We could do, we can do that one. Let's see which one looks better. There's that one. Yeah, I'll leave that one. Let's see the other one. That one's cool. Too. Actually, I'll go with that one. I'll go with that. One. Let's see the third one. Bam. I don't know. Shit. Let's just go with that one. Whatever. Actually, yeah, whatever. Okay. So then, and then here's, here's, so then again, the bottom, the bottom is set up to delay, right? And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to even delay it a little longer. I'm going to de delay it. It's delayed at 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes, right? Let's delay it. Let's delay it freaking. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it at. I'll leave it at 600. And I can even change, change it as well as far as the settings. Look, I can have people only on first visit or on every visit, right? Every time you go to the page, boom, you're going to, um, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be delayed, right? But I'll just leave it only on first visit. That's fine. That's fine. And so there's the page, man. It's already done. All I did is cloned it. It saved me a bunch of time of having to do all this crap down here, right? All my privacy policy, everything is in place. And that button 
when they click on the button, I'm linking them straight to my Kartra calendar. And so here it is down here. So link to a calendar, there's a Kartra calendar, my calendar, and then it opens in a new tab and we're good. And we're good. So now here's what we're gonna do. Let's look at the page before we actually put it in an email. So let's save progress, let's publish live. And then what I do is I don't care to integrate a domain, right? I have, I have the actual domain, but if you noticed, my domain, it simply forwards to my Karcher URL. So if I go to fbadsforbeginners.com, I own that domain. And if you go there, it just forwards to my Kartra URL. I always tell people all the time, because on the starter plan with Kartra, it's, it's a 14 day trial and then you get it. And then, and, then, and then on the starter plan, it's $99 a month, right? But that $99 a month plan only comes with one domain, the ability to integrate one domain, right? So if you have multiple businesses or if you have multiple projects that you're working on, like me, I have like 15 domains for 15 different random things, right? Um, I don't want to integrate all those 15 because first of all, Kartra will charge you per domain. So all I do is I set up forwarding and that's all. Like when people come to the page, they ain't tripping. They don't care about what the hell is up here. As long as when they clicked on your link or as long as when you told it to them and they typed it in, it takes them to where they're supposed to go. That's all people care about. They don't care about what the hell's up here, right? So don't worry about integrating a ton of different domains. Um, just forward it, forward it. And so as I create multiple pages, I come in here and get the page link. There is my default link, right? So again, I'm still on the starter plan. So I was able to integrate one domain, which is my one domain down here. But that right there is for my main business. I don't use that for this page, for example, right? I, won't, I wouldn't use it for this one. I wouldn't use it for my other ones. Um, it's that one domain that I get with my account, right? And that's all I care about. And so this right here will be the default. But what I can do is I can always change out this back end part. And that's what I tend to do. So I'll put in Facebook ads review. And that's it, man. And I'll customize it. And, and that's, and that's the freaking link. And, and, and when, when I, when I put that link in an email and they click, they end up going to the page and everyone's freaking happy. So let's get out of here real quick. That's the one link I'm going to use. So now let's pull it up and you'll see how the bottom will delay. So boom, they click on the link in the email. They come straight to the page and all they see is the freaking, all they see is the video, dude. There's nothing on the bottom, right? So that bottom, again, it won't open up until 600 seconds later, right? 10 minutes. And again, you could set that up however you want. So um, that's where I want their attention, man. So here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Let's see. I'm in new incognito, but let me see if it will still delay in this browser. That way I can show you, even if it doesn't delay, I can still show you what, I'm, what, I'm, what I want to show you. Yeah, see, so it still delays. Perfect. So here's, again, here are the objectives. Objective number one, my Facebook pixel is tracking them. Bam. Facebook pixel, I got two pixels on that ass, right? Two pixels tracking them right there. Their attention is on this one video. It's not on my social media icons. They ain't all of a sudden on my Facebook page. They're not all of a sudden clicking on the link to go to my calendar when they don't even know what the hell I'm talking about yet in the video. I want that attention right there first before they ever see anything else on the bottom. And let's say they take off. I have it set for a 10 minute delay. Let's say they take off in eight minutes. Okay, shit, take off. Like you ain't the person I was trying to look for anyways. You're not the, you're on my list first of all, but it just obviously ain't the time for you to schedule an appointment because you didn't even get to that part. You didn't even watch the whole damn video, right? So I want people to really get value out of this, man. I want them to really learn something. Um, I want them to freaking watch the damn thing and then I'll go in for the kill. Then I'll go in for the call to action, right? Then I'll show them everything else on the bottom of the page. But until then, man, sit back, watch the damn thing and learn some shit, right? So that's the page right there, you guys. That's the page. We'll come back to the page because I have to set up the email now. So now here's what I'm going to do. And I'll try to make this part quick. Now I'm going to come over to my communications, okay? So I hover over communications. I click on broadcast. I click the green button. And this broadcast name, this is going to be um, uh, Facebook Ads Review. 
Okay. And the category, you can set up categories. It's going to go to that category right there where I just have a handful of people on a list. Um, I scrub that list. So I, I keep, I keep the list low as far as count, but I keep it clean. Like I keep that freaking list clean. Um, and then also here's, here's another, 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 um, you know, powerful part of your just overall branding. This is a group of people, right? That went to, to FB ads for beginners. And you'll see this link in the description, right? They saw that at, they saw that link FB ads for beginners and any email that comes to them after will also come from FB ads for beginners. So because I have that email forwarding set up through GoDaddy, this is what I end up changing over here. So by default, that's my business email by default in Kartra. I set it up. Every email will, will come from there. Um, a reply. If you reply to any email, it'll, it'll come from there. But at the same time, I can always change it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply change it to my FB ads for beginners email. So that right there is my email right there, okay, that this specific list is going to get it from. So there's, there's that. I changed that, right? And then the recipients, again, this is a broadcast. This is a one-off email um, that I'm going to send right now. I'm going to send it to people that are subscribed to that specific list, which is only a handful of people, but a very engaging um, group of handful, right? A handful of, a handful of people. So it's going to be this one right here. So that's the only list I'm going to send it to, right? Hundred six of them blocked, mean, meaning that they either unsubscribed, which it's not that because I take those people out. So it might be people that just have a bad email. They, the email was, was blocked through Kartra Mail. Um, they put in a bad email, and that's fine. So 133, that's fine. So here's what I'm going to do next. So I, and, and also, by the way, let me go back. I can also send it to all my list, right? I can send it to people subscribed to this list and subscribed to a different list or that has a tag or does not have a tag or has filled out a specific form. Like I can get, I can get really gangster with this stuff, you guys, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Keep it simple. It's either they're subscribed to this, this list and subscribed to another list or they're subscribed to this list or they're subscribed to a different list, right? So this is the only list I'm going to send it to, but you can send it to your entire database. You can send it to everyone on, a, on every list, right? Or you can just send a broadcast to people on, you know, different lists. So this one, this video is, is specifically, right, Facebook ads, right? So it's going to this specific list of people that are on that, you know, specific freaking list. So here's what I'm going to do. Save a next. It's going to be a single email. And what I have set up, so right here is, is basic, right? As you go into the emails, you can come in here and just leave it on basic and write basic text. I put their first name everywhere, right? If you're on a PC, it's copy and then control V. And then I can call out their name. I can put their name anywhere, right? Which is what I tend to do a lot. I use their first name in a lot of, in a lot of emails. Um, or I can come to advanced. I can come to advanced and I can look at all these full templates that Karcher already has designed. And I can simply take it, click it, drag it over and drop it and work out of that template. I can delete the image. I can change the color. I can, I can, I can do anything with, with any of these templates. What I tend to do is keep it basic. So I'll, I'll, I'll create a template, right? And then I'll just use that same one over and over and over. And I'll just change out, change out the words, obviously, and change out the link um, or even, and, and even change out the image, right? But, but what I tend to use and keep are my social media icons. So I like to keep that at the bottom um, and, and just keep my emails consistent as far as the branding and as far as the look and just the aesthetics of it all, right? Um, I'm very big on that. And keeping things basic, but I, I look at that when it comes to emails, the template, and then I also look at that when it comes to pages. When I'm building out pages, I want the colors to match, right? I I, I want the font to match, right? So little things like that, man. You got to pay attention to de pay attention to detail because this is your brand. This is what you're building, right? So I'll create one template, right? Deck everything out, and then I'll come over here and save as template. And then I'll just use that one over and over and over. So in this case, here's what I'm gonna do. 
I could still use first name. I could still come over here to dynamic variables, grab their first name, call them by their last name, whatever. Um, I can create dynamic variables for all this other stuff. I can put all this other stuff in the email if, if needed, right? But I can even customize a freaking uh, dynamic variable. But I tend to just use their first name and everything, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply um, 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 change out the image for sure. And then let me just write something basic. Let me, let me write something basic. And, and, and that's another thing, man. If you're on any of my emails, I don't tend to write a whole lot because again, my objective is to get, you know, watch a video. You might be the opposite. You might be more of a writer, more of a copywriter. You may be more of a storyteller and your, your, your gift is to put that in, in, in text form, right? Um, I can do that. Like I can, I can, I can write, like I can, I can for sure write, like I can, I can, I can, I can, I can write, but where I feel my, my, my strong point is, is in video, right? That's why all you guys are here, man. That's why a lot of you guys show me love on YouTube because I'm, I'm a video type of, um, um, expressor, right? I like to express my message via video. And so what I tend to do is I'll write just a few freaking sentences, if that, and then again, draw the attention, all the attention to the damn video, watch here. And then, and then if they click on the image, boom, it also takes you to the, to the, to the video as well. So I tend to keep it short in the text and just get them to, to click on, on, on the call to action. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll put, I'll put, uh, J Jason, check out this client's Facebook account. Okay, I'll just put it up. Check out this client's Facebook account. And, and, and that's the thing with subject lines. You want your subject lines to be, to be short, catchy, and kind of just throw people off. Like people are going to get that email. Jason, check out this client's Facebook account. Like people are going to be like, I didn't say Facebook page. I didn't say profile. I said account, right? So that's going to draw some attention. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the analytics behind all this in two seconds when we're done. Once we send it, you'll see the open rate. Like it's ridiculous. Like um, we'll see all that in real time, but let me, let me write this out real quick. Hi, hi, Jason. Hope you're well and crushing it. Hope you're well, hope you're well and, 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 and hope you're, hope you're well and learning how to, maximize your Facebook ads. Here's a quick video. Here's a video I just released. Here's a video I just released on me reviewing a client's Facebook ads manager. She hired she hired a facebook ads agency but after looking at what they did for her or should i say did not do for her she hired a Facebook ads agency, but after looking at what they did for her, or should I say didn't do for her, she was missing all the basics. I truly believe, I truly believe most aspiring Facebook advertisers miss the basics when it comes to the setup. Don't run your next ad until you watch this video. Hope you get value from it, John. Watch here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. Here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to simply come to Canva and because this was my most recent video, it should still be saved that image. I'm going to grab that same image and I'm going to put it in the actual email. I'm pretty sure it should. Yeah, actually, damn it. It's not that one. 
Okay, so um, let me let me get the share code real quick again. Um, okay, so let's unlink this. Let's link it again. Actually, you know what? Damn it, my bad. I don't want that. I don't want the video, right? I don't want the damn video. I want the... Um, See, look, 10 minutes later, the bottom opened up. Bam. They click here. It takes them straight to my calendar. See? See that? This is what I want. This is what's going in the email. This page, right? So watch here. Okay, so let's link this. That's linked. And then I'm going to link the image, but I'm going to change out this image. Okay, so this one, this one's gonna be, um, let's, let me look at that image really quick. It was reviewing, I'm gonna just change out this, Facebook ad review. Okay, so Facebook ad review. Facebook ad review. Okay, so there's that. And then I used this um, Facebook icon right here. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm going to just download it, and I'm going to throw that in the um, email. So that right there, click on this one, click on upload image, and that will be right over here. Bam. Okay, cool. So now they click on that, and it goes straight to that page. Um, watch here. Don't run this, don't run your next ad until you watch this video. And I'll do it again up here. And I'm gonna simply bold it. I'm gonna change out the color and I'm gonna link it straight to the page. Okay, so there's that. Now what I'm gonna do, okay, so let's let's review. Jason, check out this client's Facebook account. Hey Jason, hope you're well and learning how to maximize your Facebook ads. Hope your hope business is booming. Hope hope you're well and learning how to maximize your Facebook at your Facebook. Hope you're well. Hope you're hope you're well and business is booming. Here's a video I just released on me reviewing a client's. Here's a video I just released of me, of me reviewing a client's Facebook ads manager. She hired a Facebook ad agency a few weeks ago but after looking at, at what they did for her or should i say didn't do for her she was missing all the basics and these basics and these basics can cost you a fortune i truly believe most aspiring facebook advertisers even advanced advanced ones miss the basics when it comes to the setup it's all it's all about the setup don't run your next ad until you watch this video hope you get value from it john watch here chat soon bam okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply send it let's um 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 let's go to Okay, so let's send a test. Let's go to that account really quick. Let's look at that one. Let's make sure I got that email. Um, damn it, I don't even have it set up. Shit, my bad, you guys. Let's send it to a different account. Let's send it to, okay, let's send test. And let's send it to, I'll just send it to that one. Okay, so let's look at that test email real quick. Okay, so here's what we do. Okay, where's that damn email? Okay, so here, here it should be coming right now. 
bam, and there it is. Tess, check out this client's Facebook account. So boom, hope you're well and business is booming. Here's the, here's the, there's the text, watch this video. They click on that, it brings them straight to the page where um, Facebook pixeling them, their attention is all on that video, and because I already came to the page, that's why the bottom is opening up, right? Because I already came here once, but that's it right there, you guys, and then automatically it, it just starts playing. So I have it set up to automatically play. They click on watch here, there, and then boom, it comes to the same page, and then as you remember, I changed the title of the tab. So FB ads review, that's the title of the tab, and then boom, come over here, they click on the image, and bam, it brings them straight to the page. So here's how we finalize it, you guys. Here's how we finalize it. This right here, we go in for the close. All that is good. So now we're gonna come back up here to the top. Um, actually, we're gonna go to the bottom. Save and next. Save and next. And then automation, I don't need any automations right now. I'm gonna send now, and boom. Your communication will be scheduled to go out within the following minutes. Save and next, hit the green one, and boom, congratulations. So it went to 127 people on that list. Um, and now, here's what I can do. So as we wait a few seconds, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply pause it. I'm gonna wait, actually no shit, I'm not even gonna pause it. I'm not gonna pause it at all. We're gonna wait, let's just 10 seconds. Let's wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, Let's go into analytics, right? We can go to broadcast and look at the analytics in real time. So if I, if I go to all broadcasts, I can just go to, actually I don't want all broadcasts, but I want today. So whatever broadcast today, that's the one today, boom. Look at that, one person opened it up already. So out of the 127, one person already opened it up. I can even search by category, which is FB ads for beginners, all broadcast, or I can go to that one FB ads review. That's the one right there, right? And then I can go yesterday, but there wasn't anything yesterday. And then I can go today. So one person opened it up so far in just a few seconds, you guys, but I can refresh this and keep it going. That open rate will get ridiculous um, because it's a, it's a high engaging list. Now, it's, all, it's not about having thousands of people. You got to scrub your list, man. That's another thing. Scrub your email list because chances are you have a bunch of people on there that may be unsubscribed or you have people that, are, that have bad emails that just simply hacked your funnel just to see what the hell you got going on. Um, and so you want to clean out your list. I clean out my list all the time. If I didn't clean it out, this would be several hundred. But I clean it out, man. Um, um, first of all, to, to really cut the cost so I don't have to spend more on my Karcher account because every account is based on your lead count. The more leads you have, then, then the, the more you pay when it comes to any email autoresponder. Kartra is the same. But it's not until you get to 2,500 leads where the price changes on Kartra. So you're fine for a while um, and, and you just want to keep, you know, uh, uh, change it or cleaning out your list. So let's go back. Let's just click it one more time and let's refresh this. See if, if anyone else opened it up. Let's go to today. So one, one so far in a few, it's only been freaking two minutes, but it's all good. That will continue to, to, to increase in the, in the percentage and the number. And that's, that's that you guys. So that's how I send a broadcast email. I drop it to a page, I capture that Facebook pixel data, I get people to come over here and schedule the call. All those objectives, all in one single email broadcast. So that's how you do it, you guys. Step your game up, there's a 14 day trial for Kartra. Um, set up a 14 day trial, hit me up and I'll give you all my time where we'll jump on and I'll show you from A to Z how to take your business to the next level using Kartra. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video, over and out.